All right, everybody, on my last video, I carved in these uh, flower petals. Sorry, the video was so rushed. Um, I just kind of wanted to do it quick. Um, so I know I have to make another video for this piece, how I finish it, like what I do to finish this piece. Because look at it right now, it's, it's a little bit too bright for me and a little bit, well, just too bright. So, but I don't want to do that today because I, I don't have the right stuff here and I don't want to go to the store. So, and I, another thing too is I don't know what I want to carve today, but I want to carve something. And this is going to be a video just kind of like, um, well, let's pull out the next piece for the next video. All right. So this is a funky root piece. And I tell you the truth, I have no idea why I even brought it home. So when I don't know what I want to carve, but I want to carve, I always revert back to the uh, wood spirits. That's it. That's the bottom line. So, like I said, this is a root piece. I don't know what type of wood it is. It's funky. It's ugly. It's kind of rotten in there with bark. Not rotten, but it's just not the nicest piece of wood. You know, you see that? So there's still sand in there. Look at all the sand in there. Let's see here, give you a better view. Hold on. All right. So this is a funky root piece. And I tell you the truth, I have no idea why I even brought it home. So when I don't know what I want to carve, but I want to carve, I always revert back to the uh, wood spirits. That's it. That's the bottom line. So like I said, this is a root piece. I don't know what type of wood it is it's funky it's ugly it's kind of rotten in there with bark not rotten but it's just not the nicest piece of wood you know you see that so there's still sand in there look at all the sand in there let's see here give you a better view hold on so here's a better view of the piece there's the back And you can see lots of it's broken and all mangled inside of here. So what I'm going to do today, since I don't know what I want to carve, like I said, always revert back to wood spirits. I kind of, maybe I brought this piece home because, let's see here, get this pen lit off. Jordy, excuse me, I see a mustache here. Blowing in the wind, right? A side view. But this mustache, this wood here... You'll see like right there where it's dark in there, that uh, bark or whatever it is, that mustache. I'm going to have to carve this back so far because you need to get your nose. Pretend this would be the bottom of a nose right here. This would be a nose. Then your forehead up here. See your nose, but so like this mustache will have to be cut way back too. All this will have to be removed. I don't know. I'm just gonna carve, have fun, and um, let's see if we can make something out of a not very good, well, a really poopy piece of wood. I'm gonna clean this up. All this uh, part here. I'm gonna use my Fordham. I'm not gonna film for that, and uh, I'll be back. So lucky for me, this was uh, first growth uh, old Western red cedar. But you got to remember when you're carving root pieces, everybody, the root woods, um, in my opinion, it always is always harder wood. So this is what we got. I'm trying to open my mind. It hasn't opened up yet. I did carve that first crack down lower. So we might be able to incorporate that into the forehead. I kind of see like, um, I kind of see like um, just a character, maybe not a wood spirit. How about like a big, just a big, big, silly kind of nose here. Like a nose right here. Then the eye, big eye. And then, you know, just a fun character. And then if your nose is down here, then you got this and this kind of twists around down here. I think um, I think what I'm going to do is clean up all this wood down here too. And then maybe something else will pop out. 
I just don't know. I, I really, and I, to, like, tell you the truth today, I just really don't care. I'm just having fun, right? So just thought I'd share it with you guys. If it works out, it does. If it doesn't, who cares? So I use my Fordham to um, clean this up because, well, I'm not using my wicked new Ram Carver to do that kind of cleaning. So things change. And I'm just sitting here drinking my coffee, trying to open up my mind. And, well, I guess I have, I see an eyebrow on this opposite side. Like there's not going to be any carvings over here, but I see an eyebrow ridge line here, right? So if you look at the piece, an eyebrow ridge line there too. I think a piece like this, you know, and you can see how this piece comes around here and then comes down, wraps down here. Piece like this. You know, carve that a little bit shallower, take this a bit down and use this natural curve of the wood. And down here, I can see it's cracked right here. But down here, you could just do another I too, right? Make another, use this as the nose. I think really what I need to do is dig into it and start, this, this isn't going to be really a carving video. This is just kind of show you how I open up my mind, how I try to open up my mind working on a piece like this. But you see, you want to use this part as the forehead too. See, I see another face up here too, right? Like there's an eye and a little beak nose. You can do whatever you want. As long as you're having a good time, nothing else should matter. And it, I say it on all my videos and I know I repeat, repeat, repeat. It's just a freaking experiment. Just have fun, you know. And I know it, you guys are probably getting tired of me saying that, but it's true. For me, it is anyways. So I think what I'm going to do is curve this a little bit deeper here where I'm dotting. Take this down. Try and make this look like a, 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 a nostril for a no I'm going to sneeze. Cedar make, makes me, <laughs> excuse me, sneeze. Cedar makes me sneeze. Okay, so here I am just kind of analyzing. I make sure I don't cut through where that hole goes straight through the nose. Um, lots of pieces on this piece did chip off but I didn't really show them I'm not going to sh show you the whole carving but I spent a good six hours carving this maybe five six hours um, there's a cut all extreme flame burr my go-to burr this wood is like I say in the video also is pretty hardwood as it being a root piece but it's cedar so it, if it was Douglas fir or say like maple it would be a lot harder so I was thankful to find out it was cedar uh, down there um, I have a there was a deeper rot pocket. So, excuse me, when you do when you do these these um, tree roots, you got to be expected for the um, you got to be ready for the uninspected because there's little. I'll show you later in the video, but there's like a little stone pocket that had little tiny pebbles in it that came out of nowhere. But if I actually looked at the piece good enough after I cleaned it up, I would have been able to think that it would have been there. But here's a carbon fusion warrior tape ice bike. That stops the uh, dent from the flex shaft when I'm carving heavy. It just makes it more uh, relaxing on the finger. So yeah, I spend a lot of, uh, I think this carving was probably about, uh, I don't know, five hours, six hours from front to finish. I spent a long time on it. I'm not usually a sander, like I don't sand that much. That's why I like wood spirit doing the beard hairs and stuff like that, fine details. You don't need to sand that much. But a piece like this, this is a pretty simple, basic piece. I think anybody can do this, but you have to like to do sanding. Even if you don't like to do sanding, you have to do sanding. That's that's kind of what I'm aiming for with this piece is get the beautiful colors of the old Western red cedar to really pop. So thank God this voice is over is almost done. And all right, bye. Okay, lots of you know, that watch my older videos I always suggest that sometimes you just sit back you put your piece against the wall and you look to see what's going on because you, you don't really see what's going on when you're looking at it close doing the carving and for everybody out there new to carving I suggest you get yourself a dust mask there's tons of them out there you don't have to get this kind but this is what I use when I'm carving here 
So, we got a big, big, huge nose here. I could carve this nostril down to make it look like a better nose, but this is just a big fantasy piece, and I just don't care. Got his eyebrow carved in. You can see the two eyebrows kind of line up. Here's one here. Looks like there's one there, but there's nothing there. Um, I carved the nose down here because this piece is going to hang up, and you I got a no couple, a couple nostrils down there. It's total unproportionate, if that's the right, proportionate, proportionate. Man, I hate standing these things up sometimes. That nose, who cares? It's fantasy. You kind of see I did some cuts here, just kind of, I don't know if I'll even, I might not even carve an eye in there. I might carve just a simple line one like uh, Asian. So I think now, before I get carried away with crazy carving again, I'm going to carve an eye. I got these brand new aluminum, uh, not aluminum, what do we say the aluminum, but they're cheap Chinese cutters. Okay, they're the, the three-sided cutters. These things um, rip really good when they're brand new, but after a while they get, uh, well, not after a while, they get dull super fast. But when they're dull, they still work good on cottonwood bark. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to carve an eye. I got lots of depth in here. I'm going to carve an eye, a round eye, really deep here, like pretend it's round, really deep. Like the deepest I've ever carved an eye. Like a, I'm going to practice eyes right now. This is going to be a fantasy eye. And if it doesn't work out, well, you know, you don't, you don't know unless you don't try, right? So this is me trying to do. It's going to be like a, I've done one before. It's going to be a round eye with like a big thing, thing, and a thing, thing. So let's get the camera on the overhead again. I'm going to put my dust mask on and I'm going to do another voiceover. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see because camera's going to be up here. I'm going to be carving and I'm probably not going to be thinking too much. It's filming because I want to do a good job, but it's going to be a big round eye. Yep. Maybe I won't film. Maybe I'll just um, friggin' do it. Okay, so here I am going to draw a big circle on the uh, eyes. Eye, the one eye that I'm going to do. I've carved an eye like this before. The deep, the more I'm carving eyes, the deeper that you carve it, the eyes, like I'll show you here, it's going to be a perfect round, not perfect, but it's going to be like a circle. The deeper that you carve on the outside of that circle and round it out, the better your, the more round your eye is going to look. And it, you know, it's a block that I got in my head. And I'm just talking about wood spirit eyes too. It's a block that I got in my head, but the, and I know how to do it. I know how to carve deep. I say it on all my videos. But the deeper that you carve that, like not too deep, you can't you can't go aggressive deep, but the deeper that you go, the more rounder it will look. I'm even talking for like wood spirits too, if I didn't already say that. Here's the new RAM micro carver. I got a gold cut saw taper burr on there. Like stuff like this, I'm gonna use the mic the RAM for, but like hard carving, like to get rid of the, the outside gray of the wood, I use the Fordham. I'm not going to use that ram when I'm doing hard carving because I'm not going to, I don't want to break it. It's such an awesome tool. And I, I can't thank everybody enough. And I'm so excited for the uh, giveaway. So I think it's on uh, next month on the 11th. I made it so it's on a weekend so everybody can tune in. So there I got that. So now I got, um, I'm just put that center in there because I'm going to make it round like a half a ball inside there. This wood's so hard that you can see that that uh, gold burr is just, uh, what's it called? Burnishing it. So it's basically burning it at the same time. I, did, I do give you guys some zoom-ins. But so, I'm going to make a post in the, uh, sometimes you guys might want to check out the community section. Because that's where I make posts, like on uh, YouTube. And I'll do like uh, polls. So right on the top of that eye, not yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just enjoy the music for a second if you want. You can see on the top of that eye, it's gonna it's gonna be cutting through. And there's gonna be a little pebble pocket up inside there. Yep, there you can see a pe little pebble just came out. Yep, there it goes. Always, always expect surprises when you're doing um, root pieces. Yep, look at it. And now I gotta now I gotta figure it out and see how far it goes and what's it wants wants to do because that doesn't look normal just like that. So I might as well carve it all right out. 
and see what's inside that pocket. That's a good thing about wood carving too. It's not like painting where you're doing the same thing. Or I'm not saying painters do the same thing every day, but different pieces of wood make you create different. That's where this, see, I should have seen that. Who's going to guess it? There's little pebbles sticking in there from that. You know, ca carving different pieces of wood helps you open your mind and it helps you create different things. Does that make sense? Like even this piece of wood, I've had it like against the heater for like a month. I said to myself, that's such a, I got another aluminum cutting, one of those, uh, not aluminum, but uh, Chinese street cutter burrs in there. I told myself, oh, I'm not going to carve this piece of junk yeah it's got a kind of neat shape but i'm not going to carve it it's a piece of junk piece of wood but then today i saw it and i said screw it i'm just getting over it over with i don't want to carve a basic wood spirit i just want to carve something fun and i just don't care and that's what that's what i'm doing you know i'm taking you guys along with the ride hopefully some of you are still here look how deep that pocket goes in there So, also, these um, cheap Chinese cutters, I'm learning how to do eyes pretty good with this cutter itself. I'm thinking about making a video, a uh, new updated Carving Fusion eye video, how to carve eyes. And I can do it with two burrs, but this cutter, I'm, you know, I'm getting pretty good with it. I'm not bragging, but I'm saying I'm, I'm getting pretty good with it. You just have to learn how to use it for a harder touch, carve deeper, or a lighter touch, right? And when you're doing the eyes, look at the deep pocket. So there I go, cut right through. I said, why not? It might bring some, some kind of daylight into the back of the eye, you know? I could even put a little light in there if I wanted to. The, when I do the lights, like the battery lights or the plug-in lights, those are more like kind of wintertime projects. This has been the longest winter I've ever had, ever had in my life, just because of the renovations, and it seems just like it's never going to end, but it's almost over. Ha, I list. So I'm not going to lie, I've been hitting this piece pretty damn hard. I've done some sanding, i got a lot more sanding to do. So, there it is, so far. Um... I'm undecided what I want to do up top there, but I think at this point, and this is just to give you guys ideas to open your mind, you know, like, look how the, different this eye is, and I showed you guys when the thing was filming, you can see right through there, all the little pebbles and rocks that came out of there. Um, what do I do in the top? How about I get my Fordham out, I clean it up, and uh, I'll come back. get this ashtray out of here i bent studio <laughs> studio on the lake so that was a real mess so some of you might see a snake head some of you might see what i see well i've seen a snake head and i seen a monster face and i seen a whole bunch of stuff the whole time when i was carving deeper in here you guys can see all this sawdust that i had to take off all the old gray stuff. I've basically carved this whole piece. Yeah, this whole piece is friggin' cleaned up. This whole thing. Now if I can get this to sit straight again. Sorry. I see another creature face up here. Like, here's the, the lip. The bottom jaw. It's kind of perfect. You know, and then there's a nose. Let's see here. 
what do I want to do? So there could be an I, you could put an I right here. You can see a snake head, friggin' snake head. I, I kept on carving that away because all I saw is a snake head and I says, no, 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 I'm not carving a friggin' snake head. Just not interested. So how about, since this video is probably getting longer now, let me um, cut this in here and see what happens. All right, so it's finished. Jordy Johnson, 2022. Um, I signed it. I want to show you guys how I put the back hanger on it. You see those things there? I just um, use those hangers upside down with the nails in them. I got some uh, nice solid rope, fishing twine, and I tied a couple knots and put some super glue on them. Just so you know, like one of these hang these hangers. I thought I figured that's the easiest way to do it. You know, you get those at the dollar store in the kits. So let's get um, let's let's check it out. Okay, so just so you guys know, I'm showing you a close-up. I still got more sanding to do, but I'm not going to uh, bother sanding it anymore. It's good enough for me. But look at that old cedar grain in there in different colors. Like, let's look at it back. So you get the white there and the dark here. Let's go down to Mr. Nose. There's Mr. Nose all. I just did some hole carving in there. It was a little bit rotten farther back in there, so I just carved it out. Let's do a slow zoom. You guys might be able to see some part where I need to sand some more, but I don't care. I've sanded this enough. Sanding's not really my game. And up here you can see cut marks. And this guy's cool. I gave him kind of like a dragon head. See his nose there? And then his kind of his lip mustache. You can't really see here, but he's got a bottom jaw right here. But this was soup. This whole piece was pretty hard to carve like um like i said roots roots are pretty hard to carve but this up here was super hard to carve because all the cracks and stuff and pieces were keep on f flying off there's kind of like my first kind of dragon eye whatever you, whatever it is who gives a shit right just have a good time this is a lot of carving this spent me like this is the only carving i've done today like if i wanted to carve w wood spirits i could carve 10 wood spirits a day but this one, just so much uh, deep curving and so much sanding. So, <clears throat> another thing too. I say it on lots of my videos. Let's give you a full visual. You don't have to spray or put a clear coat on your pieces. This piece is perfectly fine the way it is. All right? It's perfectly fine the way it is. And somebody could hang it up the way it is just like this. Right? Because... If you don't have much experience with the type of wood that you have, you spray it or put a clear coat on it, whatever, whatever, you, you know what, you know what I'm talking about. Whatever you do, it might ruin the piece. The piece might go too dark or, you know, but so like I say, you don't have to put a finish on your wood carvings. You don't have to. Even if this was going to sit outside with no finish, this red cedar, this would last 50, 60 years. It would look gray. It would look super cool. Absolutely. But what we're going to do on this video, satin clear, this rust oil, and we're going to spray it. I'm going to give you, I'm going to, because I, why am I spraying this? I know, okay, slow down, Jordy. Why am I spraying this? Because we got the lights here and we got the darks. And I want the difference. To, I want, that's how you can get them to really pop. Light cedar, dark cedar. You guys can see the transition line right there. But this whole thing, it's going to go really, really dark because it's old, first growth, western red cedar. I have experience finishing it. So let's get the camera in the overhead and give it a couple zaps. Then I'm going to spray this, give it a good two or three coats outside. All right, everybody. So that's going to be it for this one. Told you how dark it would go. I knew it. Old red cedar goes dark. The, the hardwood does anyways. This could even be a little bit of the water wood, but it's roots. So I don't know if root, roots have water wood too. Like the outside wood. So there it is. I think it's funny. You know, a dragon, whatever you want to call it, wood spirit. A big nose, funny eye wood spirit. And uh, the nose, nose wood spirit. They're all wood spirits. Wood spirits just don't have to have the, the old man with the beard 
mustache, beard thing, right? Wood spirits are just any type of face I think there is in wood, right? Who knows? It doesn't even have to be a face. Be a face. So let's get this. Um, you can see, I'll show you like, uh, I gave it two, two good coats. So like, see that wood there right here? It's not that shiny because it's softer. It's, it's more absorbent. So that really sucked it in, right? So to, to make it all consistent, let me see if I can find anything on the piece here. You can see there's some kind of quilting going on there. Um, let's see if I can find somewhere that's kind of dull. Yeah, like this side of the nose right there, it's kind of dull. See that? That means I need to let this sit overnight, cure 100% properly, because where it's dull there, it sucked it in a lot more, right? So once it sucks it in and it's dry on the inside, then you could add one more coat, hopefully one more coat, and it will all be the same. It will all have the exact same texture. So let me get this hung up on the, the nail there in the middle of the O. The nose knows, the nose knows. So yeah, it was, um, I like it. I think it was super fun. Lots of carving. Here, let me, here's a finished piece. Let me show you a picture of the way it was, uh, like before I even started carving it. On the right there. So you can see how much carving I actually did, right? And um, another note, this um, spirit bird, you know, I know why its beak, I know why its beak doesn't look like an eagle's beak is because when I beveled this part up at the bottom, I should have did it up at the top too, but instead I brought it down like that. So, you know, just to let you guys know that I will be carving another one of these out of cedar. And I was really fighting with the worm poo in there and stuff like that. So I'm not very happy with this piece. Thanks for the nice comments, but um, I don't know. It's not my favorite piece and I want to, I need, to, I need to justify it is what I need to do. And um, I'm going to go beach and beach combing tomorrow. And so this will probably be Saturday's video. Beach combing will be Sunday's video if it's not raining. And I got some exciting news about the um, chip and giveaway. Yep. Some exciting news. So that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Now I got to do voiceovers. Because oh. the nose knows.